what's up everybody? Welcome back to the 31 Days of R. I am your host Moon616 and thank you once again for stopping in guys. Yeah, day 8 is here and I've got one here from 2004 and I believe this is going to be the first zombie film that I've reviewed on the 31 Days of R. I'm not even 100% sure I'm going to do another one, um, but I thought since I hadn't done one I might as well do a zombie film. Of course from 2004 coming straight out of Ireland and it is called Dead Meat. Uh, this was part of the uh, Fangoria's Gore Zone line that they had years ago. Um, this is a film here that I've been wanting to revisit for some time. Uh, when I was uh, organizing my, my f new film room, um, I kind of was putting my Fangoria things together and stuff, and I saw it and I was like, you know what, I'm really going to do that one in the 31 Days of Horror, because I really wanted to just revisit it. It's been years since I've seen this film. Very, I I've had very fond memories of it, but I didn't really quite remember it that well, so. Um, but getting into the premise of Dead Meat, basically what this is, it's like a mad cow disease type film. Um, these local farmers are feeding their, their cows uh, rotten, you know, uh, you know, animals and things like dead animals, uh, which ultimately leads to these cows getting mad cow disease. They go fucking nuts. Um, these cows attack this farmer, which um, ultimately spreads mad cow disease to humans. And now we got a full on apocalypse here in the Ireland Hills. Um, so basically that is the premise to the film right there. Now the setup is your main character, Helena. She's driving with her boyfriend or her husband and they hit this guy and uh, they kill him dead. So they throw him in the back of this vehicle and uh, basically he comes back to life, he attacks the husband and uh, so now she she uh, flees, she hooks up with this, uh, this tourist and this local grave robber where the three of them have to come together and fight off these zombies and things like that. So, so yeah, so the storyline, you know, it's very typical of zombie type films, you know, there's nothing crazy going on here with the storyline. Um, now my thoughts on this film? This is a really well done, low budget zombie film, I have to say. Man, I'm, I'm really glad that I revisited this film because it's such a blast to watch. I read somewhere that this movie, it cost about 125,000 pounds. It's, I don't know, a couple hundred thousand American. Um, but I think they did a really good job with this, man. Um, I love, the first thing I love about this film is the setting of it. In the Irish Hills, it just has this amazing feel to the film. Uh, a lot of the locations that they shot in are just fantastic. They're very, very perfect. It almost has like this very kind of dreary, atmospheric, um, almost claustrophobic things at times, even though it's out in the open kind of. Um, but they shot a lot of the scenes like in these uh, these kind of stone hedge. Almost, it almost feels like they're in a castle half the time. I'm not really 100% sure what those things are, but it just has a really good look and feel. The tone to this film is fantastic. Now, I read on IMDb that you know, it comes up as an action comedy horror film. Now, you can scratch the first two. This is a straight up horror film um, that has black comedy in it. It's very subtle in approach, which I just absolutely love. It's very kind of like situational comedy. Um, it's not slapsticky, you know, kind of like Shaun of the Dead and films that came out around this time period. It has nothing to do with slapstick comedy whatsoever. So don't let that kind of that, those those ratings or whatever kind of persuade you into not watching this one. It's a straight up horror film uh, with very subtle comedy. And I love that about this, man. It just has, it, it's so subtle at times. You just kind of go, <laughs> you just kind of chuckle at it and stuff. I love that in this film. Now the characters, really fantastic characters, not annoying whatsoever. They're very kind of, you know, in the moment, you know, those type of characters that are just, they don't want to take any shit and they're just all for it and stuff. I love these type of characters. They're very strong, not annoying type characters. And I think the blend of the three of them that come together to battle off these zombies is, is a great trio. It's fantastic. You know, a female, two males, and, you know, they go to town and stuff. But what I love about this film, you can tell it's very much inspired by Italian cinema and, of course, American zombie films also. While watching this one, it's shot in 2004. It does look like it's a lot older, though, which is very cool. It feels like it's like 10, 12 years older. Um, I'm not sure what kind of what they shot this on. I think it is shot on film. Um, but it looks fantastic. It has this really great, it captures a really great atmosphere. The colors are kind of drowned out and stuff, and it just looks fantastic. It really, they really did do a really good job with it. As for the zombies and the effects in this film, the zombies look pretty good. They're not like the greatest looking zombies in the world, but there is a lot of them, which is really cool. There's not just a couple zombies here and there. They actually do create this quite a big world apocalypse with the zombies. I like that about it. Um, 
The gore effects are fantastic in this. No CG, all practical effects, and it gets really damn gory in the last 20 minutes of this film. There's a lot of fucking gore. It's just like straight to the balls to the wall type gore action. Um, a lot of heads getting cut off, a lot of guts coming out, just a lot of blood and gore. It's really fantastic stuff. Um, you can't really ask for a whole lot more in a low-budget zombie film. You know, like I said, the premise is very simple. It's a very simple setup. But it's executed perfectly. Great atmosphere, like I said. And that's what you really want in a film like this. I couldn't recommend this one enough. It's such a fun film. And the ending of the film is just, it's really fun. It's really fun. This one also doesn't overstate its welcome. It only runs about 80 minutes. So it gets to the point right away. There's not a lot of character buildup and stuff. You, you get to learn things here and there in the film. But um, who really cares? It's a zombie film. You don't need a lot of that setup. So, but yeah. Dead Meat, uh, really cool stuff, like the music in it, but I think my favorite thing of it is the setting, man. I love where they shot this film. I think the, the director, Connor uh, McCannon, did a great job of writing and directing this film. I think everything that he did came together quite nicely in this, and it's definitely one of those very, very overlooked zombie films from the 2000s. Um, I don't know why no one really talks about this movie, but it is definitely worth your watch. Um, don't let the, the ratings on IMDb fool you because this is not a comedy action film. It's, it's a straight up zombie film played very straight faced with a lot of subtle comedy. And that's another thing about this film that I really like. There's not a lot of dialogue either. There's a lot of scenes where it's just, you know, them doing whatever they have to be doing. And there's not a lot of dialogue, which is kind of interesting. There is a little bit more towards the end, um, you know, more maybe like in the middle of the film and stuff like that. But very, very fun film. I'm just rambling on. If I had to rate this one, I'm going to give it a solid 8 out of 10. Everyone needs to check this film out, if not just for the gore. Like I said, if you're a fan of Italian films and zombie films in general, give this one a shot. Super, super fun film. Um, yeah, don't want to give specific scenes away. Give it a shot. Really, really fun stuff. And that is going to do it for day eight here on the 31 Days of Horror. Um, yeah, so glad to revisit that one. It was just such a fun watch again. Really, really enjoyed it. So, And as usual, guys, I will check you later. And peace!